Hello Moves Drivers, welcome to the Moves Driver app tutorial presented by Amir here at Moves. Once you've downloaded and opened the driver app, you'll go ahead and be able to sign in using your mobile phone number. To do that, you'll enter in your mobile phone number that's registered, as you can see here, and go ahead and click sign in. You'll receive this code in your text messages and you'll go ahead and put that code right here to go ahead and get logged right in. As you can see now, it loads up the home screen and you're logged in to your Moves driver application. In the Moves driver app, you have your sections at the bottom, Home, Trips, and Menu. We'll go ahead and go through each, what each of these sections means. Your home screen will always show your upcoming trips within the next 24 hours and will allow you to click Go to Trip and access all the trip information and start the trip when you're ready to go. You can close it clicking on the top left. You then have access to your trips. Here you'll see all the trips that need to be have action taken. An action taken, if you click on the first trip, means you need to accept or deny the job. Let's go ahead and accept this job. And on the top left, we can click back. You'll see now we have two more trips that we need to accept action. On the last screen, the menu screen, you can go ahead and see that there's three options. Set availability, switch account, and log out. To set availability, you'll click set availability, and here you'll be able to enable your working hours to let your company know what days of the week and times you're available and not available. You can switch accounts if you're working for multiple businesses, and you can also log out if you're ready to log out of the driver app. We'll now see how to use the driver app for a one-way trip. Let's go ahead and get started on this trip for the one way. The first thing you'll do is you'll click the big blue go to trip. Here you'll see the location is off on the top right. We'll always notify you when the location is on or off. You'll go ahead and you can scroll down to see the details of the trip. And then once you're ready to leave towards the pickup, let's go ahead and click start trip. You'll notice here that we have an undo. If you ever need to undo an action you've taken, you can just go ahead and click the undo. Now you'll see that the location is on and you'll see on the top right that the status is on the way. There is no reason to change your status to on the way. We will do that for you. As you can see here now, the next thing to do when you arrive is to click I arrived at pickup location. You'll go ahead and click that, and here again, you'll notice the undo. Once the undo is completed, you'll notice that the status on the top right will still will now update to on location because now you have arrived to the pickup location. The last stop will be the drop-off location. When the customer's in the car and you're ready to go, go ahead and click go to drop-off location. You'll notice on the top right that the status will change for you. Moves will always update the status for you. Now the customer's in the car and you're on the way to Dodger Stadium. As soon as you, you have arrived at Dodger Stadium, you'll click I arrived at drop off location. As you can see here, there's always an undo if you accidentally click. Now, once you've arrived, your passenger leaves the car and based on how your company navigates end trip, you'll click end trip as soon as the customer is left or when you get back to your location, whether it's the garage, the next trip, or where the vehicle is staging. You'll click that here and again, be able to undo it if you've accidentally clicked it. And you'll notice that the trip closeout screen is now here. To close out the trip, You'll put in the actual pickup time of the trip. And then here you'll put in what time you dropped off and any notes at the bottom. Passenger wants to tip extra. All of this will go to the dispatch team. And then as soon as you're done, you'll click submit. 
and you've now completed a one-way trip. Here we'll see on how to use the driver app for an hourly job. This job is at, starts at 1 to 6 p.m. and the pickup is on Sunset Boulevard. Let's go ahead and get started. As always, you'll notice at the top right, the location is off until we start a trip. Let's go ahead and click start a trip and we'll notice we can always undo an action if we've accidentally started the trip. Now that the trip is started, the location is on and our status automatically changes to on the way. We're now on the way to the pickup location. As soon as we land to the pickup location, we'll go ahead and click I arrived at pickup location. This will then update the status on the top right and notify the passenger that we've arrived, which means that we are on location. So if you notice on the top right, we are now on location and the passenger has received a text. We'll go ahead and stand by until the passenger is in the car and ready to go to the next stop. We now are gonna to go to the first stop of our hourly job. So you'll see here, next up, stop one, Dodger Stadium, location two of three, indicating that there's three total stops of this hourly job. We'll click go to stop one location, and we'll go ahead and now start navigating to Dodger Stadium for our hourly job. We've now arrived. Once we arrive to Dodger Stadium, we'll click I arrived at stop one location, as you can see here indicating the Dodger Stadium. So we'll arrive at stop one, and here, the passenger will now go to the game and be there for a few hours while we hang tight here at the parking lot or at a location that we're instructed to. A few hours later, we'll now wait till the customer comes back out. And as soon as the customer finally comes back out and gets back in the car and ready to go, we'll click here, go to drop off location, indicating that we're on our way to the last stop of the hourly trip. Once we've arrived, we'll now click I arrived at drop off location. And this indicates that the passenger has now arrived at the final stop and is now departing the vehicle. And again here, we'll go ahead and end trip as we're instructed based on if the vehicle's arrived at a desired location, the garage, or as soon as the passenger departs. We'll click end trip. And then the last step will be finalizing the trip as you can see here. We'll indicate what time we started, what time we ended, and any comments about the trip here. Passenger wants to add gratuity. Submit. And now we finalized our hourly trip. Hey guys, wanted to show you some bonus tips here in the driver app. Whenever you're on a trip, you have a couple actions that you can take. One of my favorite ones is the greeting sign. As you can see here, when you click greeting sign, you'll be able to open up your app and then see a greeting sign. You'll click the X on the top right to navigate out. You can also use these action calls. You can press the message icon to message your customer. You can also click the call icon, which will then start call, click to call your customer. My other favorite ones are here, the navigations. Any of these navigations that you click, like the first one for Sunset Boulevard, It'll open up your Maps app and navigate from your location to the, app, to the location. Also, you'll see for drop-off, if I click the button, it'll navigate us to the drop-off. These are a couple bonus tips for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Hope you enjoy them.